and nothing else. A normal guy who in fact also aids people in trying to understand the frauds and scams more in depth. A guy trying to educate people on cancer, for instance, to protect them from disease. And the quackery creating the disease right now on purpose. And I'm trying to learn myself more. And it's hard having to dodge these various agents that are lying to us. Tell me, Tex and Alex, what have you done in depth on this subject of trying to help people's health properly? I've not only gone into depth on the conspiracy, but also Vitology Health. And now Alex Jones, speaking of the odd vaccine article, does not count. Yes, Craig Oxley is my real English name on my English Maritime Birth Certificate with the Oxley surname in all capital corporate letters the last time I looked. Once again, we've heard the prophetic accusations against Eric's little business. We've heard Eric's side as well. I already knew all of this before and right. There's no big deal then, there's no big deal now. Just a bunch of Zionist baiters desperate to keep on to their weak theory that the Jews rule the world. So yes, the state of Israel, to me, and in reality, is nothing more than the 51st state of the United States, controlled by the same Roman, Clive and Set. Who, put, who funds it? Who, puts, who, who, who gives so much money to keep it going, for God's sake? Use your brains and your eyes and your ears. And it's controlled by the same Roman Clive and Set at the, and with its Council on Foreign Relations and the Institute for the Jewish Policy Research. Seems so-called conspiracy exposers have forgotten that all the so-called opposites were brought in as one in reality after World War II. Who controls the, uh, the United States? Roman controlled Britain? Who controlled the CIA and Mossad both? Um, sorry, who created it? British intelligence again? Who controls them to this very day? British intelligence? Why do we have the headquarters of Russian intelligence down in South East Denver, housing the likes of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation, the FSB, and of course the, the Glavnoi Razvedim, Antonoi Upravlini, the GRU, military intelligence down in South East Denver, the same Russian intelligence networks who are directly tied to US Homeland Security as advisors and all sorts. To, so tell me my enemies, if Russia is all tied in as one with the Roman control behind the false op opposite illusion, then what in the hell would Mossad be if Russia is already in the pie with us? Who created the state of Israel for God's sake? There are no opposites anymore. At the top, they're all working together. Lower down in the pecking pie, some of the illusions are kept for the profane, both out of and inside these organisations and networks. Again, the compartmentalisation working, and it's best to keep people in the dark. This is why we see the odd French agents, say from the Directorate General for External Security, which is the DGES, getting killed by British Secret Intelligence Service agents and so forth. Compartmentalisation and the continuing of illusions on, you know, on the profane until the time of full temporal power, global governance. This is why we see a lot of British, US, Israeli intelligence groups all working together to bring chaos to a single enemy. This is why Bosnia is a great location for many of these um, groups of intelligence agencies. Assassination jackal squads, like where they train a lot of them up down in New Orleans with the 4th Army. Again, this Napoleonic system place controlled by the Jesuits. All the terrorists and assassination squads down there being trained. General Jim Joy and all them lot. Now to this Pollard guy, and we see that once again, you're not telling the, the whole truth. Jonathan J. Pollard isn't what he was made out to be. This is always usually the case. And as we all should know by now, basically, Pollard was the one who helped destroy the US-Iran Contra. Do any of like you like the Iran Contra agenda? No. So why do you hate Pollard the full guy? The same guy who he, he didn't, he just didn't know what was going down as such at the time. All John Pollard was doing was his job and he feared for Israel at the time. He worked for the Naval Intelligence Anti-Terrorist Union for God's sake. Sorry, some of these people are actually decent. 
people they're not all complete rogue agents you know most are suckered into the conspiracy compartmentalization as we are the real criminals were in this case for instance and there's more but Maltese Bush senior or Sheriff as he should be called probably George Schultz Casper Weinberger Bud Farlane Al Shiwima Yakov Nimrode David Kimich Amira Nur Manucha Gorbanifar and like so many more including that Jesuit trained and Vatican spy Shimon Perez there was no evidence of any profiting by John Pollard throughout all of it. He was simply worried for the people of Israel. The same Israeli people made up of many decent, hard-working and innocent people as in all of our lands. You know, only a handful of greedy, devious paper cretins are the bad guys. So Pollard becomes the fall guy for the sellout Shimon Perez. The same Perez who sold out Jerusalem to the Vatican who owns now 80% of it through the Oslo Accord. The same Perez who is the most powerful Sabatine Frankist on Israeli soil. So we see the Israeli involvement in it all well hushed up by Simon Perez. The US crowd were too stupid to do the same. So the US got the bashing whilst Israel was fine and dandy. It was, it was Perez trying to get in on the game weren't it at one time. And Pollard was put away while others ki were killed by Perez. So when people slag off Pollard, I mean, if you were a legit agent and saw poison gas by basically Bechtel Corporation or group over in Iraq, wouldn't you be worried and hand over basically all the data you got on it? Of course you would, if you were not in the mix and knowledge, of course. Remember where Israel panics over anyone having anything in the Middle East. Why wouldn't any agent be worried about Bechtel Corporation or group making um, Liberian and Saddam's chemical weapons? The same weapons we were all warned about in the phony dossier thanks to the British SIS and its overseer the Joint Intelligence Committee of London itself tied to the US brand of CIA. They have meetings every week. We see people moving off without all the facts to the matter. My God, poor Jonathan didn't even have half the clearance to do what was claimed of him. Who did have clearance? It was McFarlane again. He did. Anyway, enough of that. I mean, simply people are trying to use a story which fits in with their wannabe theory. And to me, just badge a Casper Weinberger on it. Not me. And look into how Al Gore Jr. has gave a load of so-called secrets. They're not so-called. And don't forget how he's tied to Maltese Prince Philip. And now he's pushing the phony false threat. What we were warned about with the Iron Mountain report. Global warming. And now there's some crazy made up rumour that, that I'm some kind of member of a Protestant Orange Order. This is a new one on me. In fact, I didn't know virtually anything about Protestantism until I came across my mentor, Eric John Phelps. I was blind as the Jesuits had wished. I also do not believe William of Orange was what he was made out to be. In fact, I believe him to be a Jesuit control plant behind the scenes. And again, I actually disagree with Eric Phelps because he believes the opposite. So work that one out. The same William of Orange who quickly created the Central Bank of England, called the Bank of England, in 1694. With the devious Weasel Blank, W-I-S-S-E-L-B-A-N-K, funding behind the same Central Bank, which the Jesuits had won it for years prior, in order to control the kingdom via use of it, one of Rome's greatest shackles of, on mankind. It was all from this Bank of England where you had many attempts of centralisation of bank in the US until eventually the Federal Reserve got put in. So tell me, am I part of some orange order? So anyone now who promotes the Reformation in these people's eyes is simply an agent of the orange order apparently. What well, utter nonsense. Simply to gatekeep and suppress truth on history and control over the planet. Remember, the Protestant heretic is the most hated person on the planet by the Vatican controllers. 
Remember their council of Trent cursing us with death over a hundred times? <laughs>